How are we doing guys and girls? Um, <coughs> another quick overnighter. I'm going to jump into the channel. So everything's still on the barrow. I've put some bait out, some corn and boilie. Ducks are sniffing about. Um, I know a fish came out of here two days ago. Um, it's one of them swims, no one really fishes. So I always seem to sneak one out. So let's get on with it, get set up, and we'll uh, go from there. Rods are out. Um, I've got the volume still down. I need to keep an eye on them. Uh, and I'm fishing locked up. I'm going to show you how I fish locked up and how I keep my rod safe. So in the night, I don't get one or two beeps and then my rod's gone. Not even on my bank sticks or anything like that. So I'll show you the tools I use and how to set it up. So these are the bungee cords that I use when I'm well, just fishing to be honest because they're so handy. Um, I've got two, I've got this sort of shorter length and a longer length for my barrow. But this a quick sort of release, so you pop them out of there and you can fish them as long, or, well use them, not so much fish them because you don't fish with bungee cords, you know what I'm on about though. Um, yeah, and you just wrap it round, pop it out, wrap it round, pop it back in, and that is how they work. So this is what I use to keep my rod safe. So we're going to put them a little bit closer. So they are about, I don't know, they're about a foot, foot and a half apart. Tie off that section and lock it in place. And that's that. Bungee cords ready. Now I'll show you how to install them. So it's under your rod foot. You gotta put one of these, that side and that side, actually over your rods and then push a peg in like that so you got a hook round each I don't know what you call this on the part of your reel to be honest um, so just hook it round your reel stem so when you come to hit into a fish all you got to do is pop the hook off and lift in I mean you can lift into it with that on because they're stretchy and sort of play it down here whilst you're um, unhooking your rod. But that is the best way to wake up to your rods in the morning. Stick with the plastics for now because there's nothing worse than reeling in and having no bait because I've started seeing fish moving up and down the margins. The ghost is given away. Uh, he stands out like a saw for me does. Um, changed over to back leads as well so I've put um, back lead on these rods just to get a bit of a better line laying here a bit more indication if anything's going on so um and if i have a fish it's easy to play it over the lines um so yeah let's get the second rod out and we're back to fishing 
It's dinner time. Chicken goujons. Tell you what, you just can't beat them in the Ridge Monkey. And they go so lovely and crisp, especially once they're defrosted. I'm just slightly chilled. Wait till you see these bad boys. I'm sure you've seen them in previous videos, to be honest with you. But, uh, whoo! They're delicious. Check out the goujons. Absolutely delicious. Let's plate this bad boy up. There we go. Bit of salade de poulet chou, which is obviously French for hot chicken salad. <clears throat> See what the time is. Half seven, um, right hand rod that was just tucked under them bushes when I flicked it in earlier. I just rattled off. Um, and we have one in the net. It fought really, really well. I mean, if I hadn't seen the fish now, I'd have probably said it was bigger than what it is. Um, but it's not a massive fish. But let's get him out. Have a look. It's a pretty lin. Pretty looking lin. Um, it's not massive. But one of the little stockies that have been put in. But as you can see, one day this little beauty will be 20, 30 maybe. Could even go 40 one day. But for now, we'll just appreciate how beautiful it is. And we'll um, pop him back and hopefully we'll get one of the big linears that are in here. I mean, I'm hoping for the big ghosty that I haven't had yet. That's what I really, really want tonight. If I could get that big ghosty, I'll be absolutely buzzing. So, pop her back, flip the rig back out, and see what else happens tonight. Let me have a breather, hold him upright. In some shallow water. Just gonna help him find his way. Hold on to him lightly. And there he goes. Oh man. <sighs> We're in a great sleep. Constant, constant liners from bream and tench. Had a couple of bream, couple of tench in the night. It's not what I wanted. Um, oh, I'm away, I'm away. Oh, don't snag me. Don't snag me, you bastard. As if, as if <laughs> I'm chatting away and uh, off it goes. It's a little common by the look of it. A little common. Lift him up. One of the uh, littler ones in the lake. Um, really coming through actually. There's quite a few of these little ones now that have spawned off over the last couple of summers. So it's nice to see them coming through actually. And, um, making it to this size without getting nailed by all the other stuff that's in here so yeah he's um it's a nice little common carp so that's it for this episode um hope you all enjoyed it had a couple of fish uh 
yeah, enjoyed myself. I really like this swim, uh, the channel. I did end up going through a couple of rigs, as you can see here. Um, so yeah, everyone take care, and I'll see you on the bank.